So when you get a diagnosis back that doesn't match, you need to first off do a few things. Make sure it's the right patient. Check the report, is this the right clinical information, the right site, maybe things got switched up, you never know. So always double check, is this actually the right person, the right clinical history, the right everything. Once that happens, then you really need to have that communication with the dramatopathologist. I understand sometimes it's really hard to get a hold of them. I get that, especially the bigger the lab is, the more kind of removed that dramatopathologist is from dealing directly with the clinician, which is very unfortunate. Um, but if you can, the most important thing to do is call the dramatopathologist, get her or him on the phone, and discuss. So this is the situation. And honestly, if you're able to give all of the clinical information that you can, that dramatopathologist, if they're worth anything, should be able to understand that this is not the appropriate diagnosis for what this clinician has given me for clinical history. And then they will call you. That's how it should be, right? So if I'm giving a diagnosis that is completely incompatible with what I'm receiving for the clinical photo, clinical history, patient age, site, then I'm not making that diagnosis. And this is how you know that you're dealing with a competent, thoughtful dramatopathology lab, that they're going to reach out and say, this doesn't make sense. I need to call the clinician. And so that is the ideal situation. They're calling you, OK? So hopefully you're in a situation where you're not having to track them down to say, this doesn't fit because you've done your job and you have given everything that you can to make the best diagnosis, the best clinical history, the best biopsy possible, maybe even a clinical photo. But obviously the best thing to do if you're in the situation where it just doesn't make sense and they're not reaching out to you, you have to, you have to do what you can to get a hold of them and have that discussion because every dermatopathologist is also going to know what the clinical should look like too. So that is that marriage of the clinical and pathologic to give the best diagnosis.